Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending with the, the time that you're watching this video. How are you doing? It's been a while, it's been a while guys and uh, honestly I've missed you guys, I've really missed you. And um, yeah, I want to say thank you guys for uh, your prayers and uh, your constant uh, checking up on me, I really appreciate. And uh, yeah, I'm okay now. I'm very much okay now, so yeah, that's why you can even see me making this video. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I think I have really missed a lot of things on the internet and a lot of stuff has been happening. Uh, yeah, you know, like, so I had to go and uh, rewind check some of the things. So I know, guys, that uh, some of the things um, that I'm going to talk about have already been talked about by other people. But uh, remember we are using different lens to watch and analyze so that means uh, uh, someone's opinion may not be the same as mine we have different opinions so on that effect i'll have my own opinions over the past things that have been happening while i was away okay yes so guys <laughs> I've been uh, checking on uh, uh, Marwa's videos and uh, recently I have uh, seen him. Okay, so uh, this message, let this message go direct to Marwa. I heard him say that uh, he created me a monster. <laughs> yep, so I heard him say that uh, he created me a monster. So I'm like, uh, all right, okay. <laughs> Yep, it's true. He's the one who created this monster. He's the one who is created. Who created it? And um, I will not stop. That is the, the, the fact. If he wants me to stop, he should come out clean. Tell people the truth. Tell people the lies that he keeps on peddling. That is the only way he can get me to stop. Right? Because for me, it's not just about uh, uh, the views. Of course, it's about the views. And it's also about facts. It's also about the truth. And um, for those people who know why I switched uh, uh, sides, it's simple. That side, there is a lot of covering up to do. There is a lot of uh, nonsense that they don't want you to show on camera. There is a lot of activities. There is a lot of manipulation that you're not supposed to, to show on camera. And uh, for me, that's a big no. And uh, the so-called self-proclaimed king is super angry with me because I'm exposing those sides and those things. And I don't care, man. Like, really, I don't care. You want to come for me? Please do. You are so much welcome, man. Like, you are super welcome. Now, what you have to realize is this, eh? Uh, a man doesn't issue threats a man acts a man doesn't issue threats a man acts okay you act you don't issue threats you act that's how you get respect from people you act and i can't wait for you to act man like i can't wait because i also i, I can also have some some of my own actions okay and uh, uh, you say you created this monster. You guy, my guy, you are definitely right. You created me, the monster that I am. And um, you can also uncreate this monster. By uncreating this monster is you stop lying in each and every single video that you keep on doing. Stop those constant lies. Okay? Stop those constant lies. Be a man. Man up, man. Like, man up. Be a man. Stop the lies. Because uh, I, I've just seen a video again where, uh, you know, like, I had to revisit now your videos where you're saying that uh, you created a monster and all that. You even said I slept in your villa, man. Uh, one guy being a guy uh, who came also just like you. He said he had quit his teaching job and things like that. I helped him, guys. And then, now as we speak, he's number one guy who criticizes me the most, who calls me a scammer, who calls me all the words. 
like he's number one, number one. Forget about even the people who I've never met. This is a guy who came here, I was feeding him. I am very sure he's, he has slept in this house before. I gave him food. I gave When? When have I ever slept there? Are you are you in your right mind like really or you just or you you've become like one of those guys that open up a camera and start blabbering words because you want some content? Because you you you, you said now that I even slept on your villa. Have I ever even slept there? When I was even there was anybody even sleeping in that villa? Was anybody and you keep on speaking about this meal, 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 meal. Okay, I ate supper and breakfast. I slept at your home one night. Okay, so by calculations, one night is 500 in Nyabohansi there, a night. Meals, assuming, uh, let me assume uh, your meal, I was charged 500 shillings. Breakfast, let's give it another 500. You gave me a thousand, two thousand. So I owe you two thousand shillings. A subscriber already paid a thousand shillings. So I'm yet, to, I am going to add that and I will make sure that I give you that. Okay? Because that is all you keep on yapping and saying. And we, you, you don't, you don't say the things that I'm saying which are correct. You don't want to mention that. You don't want to mention those scammers that you are hiding. You don't want to mention that. And it's very funny how you, with your own mouth, keep saying that uh, some of uh, your village mates are scammers and uh, they have used an opportunity to scam people. But when it comes to scammers who are very close to you, you shut your mouth. You become enemies with people. But at the same time, is I will have to warn you, uh, there are groups of YouTubers who, who after I built Mama Ann's house, a very genuine, uh, a very genuine gesture that I did. I was even in the news to support a family that was in need. So most people took that as a way of creating their own projects and asking for donations so that they can build some people houses. I'm again warning you. Please don't involve yourself in that. And then you say, oh, nyabu hans, nyabu hans. No, don't. Because the thing you have to understand is people have different characters. You know, for me, $100 could be a lot of money. But for somebody else, that could be just money for a cup of tea somewhere in New York or somewhere in the world. So the reason I'm saying that is I want you to be wise with your money in terms of Trusting people you just saw because they call themselves Nabuans and Nabuans. Yes, and the whole reason is because Marwa brought YouTube to the village and is trying to support genuine people. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, let's talk about uh, the humiliation that uh, they did put this uh, mixology guy through. You know, like uh, it was very disgusting to watch that video. You know, I know some of you have already watched the video or you've already maybe watched some other people who reacted on it. But uh, I have also watched the video and um, I was so, 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 so disgusted by that video. You know, that is typical Marwa for you. Using people's stories to get a name. How good he is, how generous he is. Okay. So I said I'll give him a chance, but uh, at the same time, guys, uh, I wish one of you can actually help him. You know, sometimes we may joke, but maybe somebody is actually at the age. But me, I would, I would ask if one of you is able to pay. Uh, how much do you actually need? I need three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. That is around thirty-five thousand up. Yeah, around thirty-five thousand. And that is what you need to to do your course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, also, so, uh -huh. I also need to tell them yeah. I'm homeless. I don't have a place I can call home. Why are you homeless, bro? You have good shoes like this. Yeah, I, I have, but I'm homeless. You don't look I'm, homeless. Yeah, I am homeless. I don't have a place to stay. Uh -huh. So if you are there and... Uh... But you see, I was trying to encourage you. You see, as, as a young man who would know deformities in your body, and I'm not trying to say, guys, if you have deformities, a problem. Even me, I don't see in one of my eyes. You can actually find something you can do. You can even clean cars. You can go even to a... Like, you, you want to help this guy. 
why don't you just give him money and let him go but you have to put him on camera you have to ask him questions who are very repetitive it's like you really wanted to prolong that story you really wanted uh, that guy to be viewed in a certain way by people which they did you achieved your end goal you achieved your end game and then you the same same guy who keeps saying that um you do not want people to send you money or to send the, 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 the to send you money or to send other people money who are acting on behalf of other people taking a kid to school things like that most of the time i tend to do taking kids to school because one one of the reasons is if you are the sponsor you directly communicate to the school not maro anymore so i'm not involved in maybe any money in between it's the sponsor if this is the sponsor and this is the school so the sponsor sends money to the school me i am in the middle here which you can't even see i think that's where i really like and also i'm trying to say another thing also to do that is if you as one of our follower you decided you want to contribute something to the village please make it straightforward to that person don't send money to maro and expect Maro to do exactly what you want for somebody else. Maybe when you send that money to Maro, maybe Maro will not do what what you exactly want, and then you start complaining. So if you decide to send Maro money, Maro something, let's say a donation, let it be for Maro. Few Maro minutes later. But guys, if you okay to help him, please use my P. And once we get uh, thirty-five thousand that he needs for his school fees. We will uh, give it to the school. He said he gave he gave out the name of the school. It's called Nairobi Bar. I don't know Bar Mix. Nairobi Bar. You 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 can go and learn. But my, even me, I don't feel comfortable around him anymore. Now you are not so me and him. Mix mixology. Uh, Mixing of alcohol. This is your house. Yeah, Mix let him. You the same same person who is saying that. You go ahead within. <laughs> within I, I think three videos apart one video you are saying you guys should not send me money you, you should just send the person that you want to help directly or the school directly then you you yourself on your video you go ahead and say you know what guys i really want to help this mixology guy i want to help him even though he looks suspicious he looks like a threat i will call the police for him then <laughs> you go ahead and then you tell people you know what guys you have Irene Jeps number who is my PA please send the money to my PA bro which is which should the money be sent to the people or the money should be sent to the PA or the money should be sent to you you look like you are a confused man make up your mind where do you want the money to go of course we 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 are used that the money usually goes through you so that must be confusing for you because um what you want to do or what you want to say so <laughs> or when you usually say these things you're usually saying it because of content and you know guys one thing about content is when you're saying something which you don't mean when you're saying something and you don't mean it you will repeat that thing in a different way no not really i haven't made that correct like if you're saying something for the sake of creating content you will forget whatever you said and you will say something that contradicts what you said earlier and that is what this guy keeps on doing and when we call him out for this we are haters and jealous and he will take us to court can't wait bro because that is a kind of warmth that i would love to open those worms court please let's do that let's do that okay don't keep on threatening act act you should act you should not threaten because the more you keep on threatening the more you are giving people like me a head start 
so you don't uh, you don't threaten you just act okay one day i will show you an example of how these things are done one day i will show you an example of how they are done let me repeat that for the third time one day i will show you an example of how that is done and maybe it will not be that long <laughs> anyway so you guys <laughs> i watched that video and i was like okay the pain that they are putting this guy through if if he is genuine then uh, it's too much you know like a uh, constant humiliation and people having to talk about you you saw there mayugno with his ignorance uttering very childish stupid words v those words were very childish like literally childish how do you say that this man this big man wants to go to school wants school fees okay i'm trying to help him but the way he's behaving this is very abnormal like now he's texting and, and school fee so think of that at least he give me transportation 2000 can you back where you come from? so you guy do you think because people are grown ups they do not go to school right now as we are speaking as we are speaking right now my wife is not doing content why is she not doing content because she's in school she went back to school not to teach but to learn she's upgrading her education but that is something that um you know people who do not have brains cannot fathom in their heads that people can still or grown ups can still go back to school we have old people going to school even up to the age of 50 people are learning 40 years 50 years people are going to school but you here with your ignorance criticizing someone because they are going to school and they are grown ups man and i think what i think what or what i saw guys i want you i, I i'll play that video and you guys can see what mayugno did uh, marwa did there because this guy mayugno went on blabbering and blabbering and marwa had to edit some part of the stupidity that was being thrown out there by that guy so marwa did edit some parts of that video so uh, that people cannot probably see what he said because i'm sure when he started it uh, he said and he continued and continued without a break sit down think talk don't talk sit down then think you will end up talking a lot of rubbish and that is what that guy spoke a lot of you know, like people are going to school man people are upgrading their education <laughs> guys my late grandma my late grandma my mother's mom went to school not yeah went to school when she was almost 60 i think 60 60 or 60 something because she she died almost 70 something 70 i don't know i've forgotten 70 i don't know 75 but at about 60 something she was going to school for grown ups so, do you know why she was doing that because she wanted to read the bible for herself she didn't want people to be reading it for her she wanted to read it for herself that kind of school in kenya is called gumbaru where adults go to learn things that they missed while or you know like a, an adult who never got any education they go to adult school it's called gumbaru here in kenya so my grandma at 60 she was going to school my wife now with two kids one who is 10 another one who is two she's going to school <laughs> and uh, this guy hey <laughs> you guys uh I, with school 
that is uh, enhancing your opportunities where you can hunt for yourself, where you can hunt, where you can learn other than just hunting for money because mostly in Kenya, people don't go to school because of knowledge. People go to school because they want to get jobs. They want to get opportunities. They want to get work. <laughs> All right. So she was like, yep, let me go to school. And now she's almost done, actually. She's almost done. She's actually uh, in, she, she's, she's, uh, I think she's she's doing an attachment. She's almost done. <laughs> so, guy, guys, this is how I look at that guy. That guy, number one, uh, that guy from my own point of view, that guy is very genuine. He has uh, problems from what I saw from that video. He is very genuine. He is not shady. He's genuine and uh, desperate and um, you know like he has some mental problems also you know for a man to stoop that law being called all sort of names but you're still there you're still you know but at the same time that guy looked like someone who is entitled he felt for me he i felt like he felt entitled for the help because he's even saying, you know, this th there was this guy, this lady who asked for the money, but uh, she went mute. That's rude. Like, that is really rude. What do you mean, like, why can he pay? Oh, he asked me, uh, why, why am I sending? He, he texted me and uh, asked me, why am I sending the funds? And uh, uh, I told him. So you mean, like, school? Which yeah. school are you paying and things like that? Yeah, the funds, I think, for, yeah. the, for the school. So only two people reached out. To yeah, you. yeah, and the other one, I even took the papers. I, I sent her the pictures, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she didn't. Uh, she was to send you the money. To send me. Yeah, she, she said she want to send it to you, but uh, then she 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 went she she, she went mute. She didn't oh. help. Why why is it like that? Because I'm trying to understand. Mm -hmm. You say one tried to ask you where he would pay yeah. or should pay the school yeah. fees. Yeah. So guys, technically, this young man here came to my premise the other day and we had... Re if you are looking for help from someone, even if they have said, hi, hi, I want to help you, so where is your number? And then they go and then they keep quiet. It was even barely two days and you're saying she went mute. Come on. You don't do that if you really need help. Okay. Someone can promise to help you. They can even stay months and months. And they're not talking. Let them take their time. They will come through if they are for coming through. But not within two days. You've started complaining already. So this guy, within two days, he was already complaining. So I, for me, I felt like he feels like very entitled. Okay, as much as he was humiliated, but uh, he was kind of sketchy. You don't go and look uh, and uh, seek help from people and then you become entitled like uh, it's a must they help you or something like that. And then on top of that, you've gone there, you are asking for school fees. Why don't you stick with school fees and say, you know what, guys, I need school fees. I want to go to school so that I can be able to cater for myself. And all. Then you go ahead and say, you know what, I'm even homeless. Now you want more help. Like, no, you know what, you guys, guys, remember, school fees is not enough. Even if you give me school fees, that's not enough. I want more. I need more. I need more than school fees. I need more than school fees. I also need a, a, a house. I need a house to sleep and you guys are going to pay for that rent because I don't have. I was kicked out. So and uh, now I guess if uh, he, he, he even had enough time and chance, he could have said he also needs a wife. A Muzungu wife <laughs> who has money. Probably. Anyway, I'm uh, not making fun of him because for me, his situation is genuine. But how he approached it, it looks like some, there, there is some entitlement, entitlement in there. So for me, I think that was a very wrong approach for him. Though, um, 
he was used as content and a lot of money was fetched through him so uh, maybe it was a right for him to ask for all those things okay he it was a right it was a right though i don't feel like uh, he should have mentioned all those things at once because maybe five people six or seven could have contributed which could have been enough for him to go to school fees and even leave him with something that he could have used to cover for his house rent and all that without even telling people that you need house rent and all that you know like and uh, the way it sounded it did not sound as polite it sounded kind of rude not rude like it sounded like a um not, i don't know how to put it but it sounded as if he's asking for what is his he's not asking for help he's asking for what he's supposed to be given that is how i felt about that video but how uh, this guy approached it how marwa made it look he really made it look so bad you know he even made it look like this guy oh no and to an extent that he even used me as a, used me as a monster that he created yes yes i repeat that yes i'm the monster that you created and you need to destroy this monster and the only way you can destroy this monster is if you come on your camera speak the truth tell people the truth stop your constant lying stop covering up for some scammers and exposing others when you do that you'll have destroyed this monster uh, and uh, from there onwards you keep on being straight you stop using people people's misfortune for your own benefit and then you are going to make it look like an extreme so that you can just make content only then is when i will stop but other than that there was this other guy other than the mixology guy who was humiliated there is this other guy who made marwa super happy super excited and that's how he loves it that's how you should do it this guy who nailed it down marwa loves that marwa enjoys that if you do that You're on the right track. You're the best person. You're the good person. Okay? But if you don't do that and you challenge him, like how I challenged him to tell people the truth right in front of his face, how I challenged him, you become an enemy. <laughs> you become an enemy. You know what? If you've chosen the path of saying that uh, your village is not a bad village, just some people are bad, please don't neglect to also mention those ones that you've nurtured and are doing wrong things. If you, 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 you indeed do not support shady stuff, why would you say, uh, you know, sometimes people are not perfect. When it comes to your friends or to the people that you nurtured, you say, when, when, when now we are exposing their truth and their lies, what you say is this, you say that, um, you guys, you know, people, not everybody is perfect. People have their flaws. But when it comes to those that you do not like, you say, stay away from those people. They are scammers using Nyabohanse village to scam people. Do you hear yourself? Like, do you sometimes, do you sit down and listen to yourself slowly? Do you do that? And bro, if you do not listen to yourself, then one day when you are done recording your videos, you should sit down and listen to whatever you are talking about. You should listen to what you're saying. Okay? So that is what I can advise you. Sometimes just sit down and listen to what you're saying because you are criticizing other people and 
you at the same time cover up for the people that you do not want to criticize you cover up for them you say that uh, people have flaws but when it comes to those that you don't like you say you guys stay away from these guys they are scammers they are using my name they are using my village they have even started construction projects using our village using ayamaro name these people stay away from them and all that okay so what makes you think that uh you are any different because if you're covering from for some when they have actually even been exposed you have even been told even right in your face and you cover up for that but you want to expose these ones that you do not like what does that make you big man what does that make you it makes you a hypocrite it makes you the hypocrite hmm? You want to expose people do it flat. Okay? No double standards. Don't do double standards. Do it on a flat rate like everybody. Sawasawa. Are you getting my point? Hmm? And um the the one night that I spent at your home I will pay for that one night and I will pay for the two meals that I ate which was which was uh, lunch uh, not lunch which was supper meal and breakfast I will pay for that so that uh, maybe it will it will it will keep you at peace somebody already paid for your transport for the not transport you keep on mentioning transport 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 shame on you shame on you shame on you that that means you are not even a man enough to come and tell people the truth shame on you very big shame on you man so that 10 it is not even 10 bucks it's seven bucks that you gave so that i could have something in my pocket has already been paid by one of my subscribers I'm waiting for the maturity as I add mine to cover for that supper and breakfast that I ate the following day and that one single day accommodation and then pay you. Okay. Because now you are not coming out as a man to protect your name against what we are saying and dispute it like a man you know like when someone has criticized you and said uh, that you did this and this and this what you need to do is one you if you know it's not true you can choose to shut up or two you can choose to counter their accusations with your facts but not start saying you know this guy ungrateful hey eh, that is all you keep on saying why don't you counter my accusation as a man why don't you defend yourself as a man without relying on that single day event why hmm? why anyway ladies and gentlemen Stay tuned on this YouTube channel. Guys, it's been a while and uh, I'm back now because as you can see, I have recovered something. Or let me say 99%. So it's just 1% and I'm good. All right. And we're back. We're back. We're working. All right. So in the meantime, I'll be making videos here at my backyard before I feel good or go somewhere else. Or even the bush. I can't even go to the bush. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, guys, uh, to just to mention something. There is a guy who came up with a video. And uh, on that video, he said a lot of things. And uh, what I can tell you is this. No comment. But I will comment with actions okay 
All I can say is that no comment, but there comes a time when I will release a comment about that video. For now, no comment, but there comes a time when I will release an official comment about that video. Okay, so otherwise, guys, thank you so much for subscribing, and uh, also just to shout out this person, Yolanda Zapata. Thank you very much for being a channel member. Yes, guys, my channel members are growing, and I really, really appreciate you so, so, so much for being a channel member. You know, when uh, people decide to become channel members, that's solid support, and it really means a lot to me and to my channel guys so thank you very much yolanda zapata for becoming the newest member of the channel thank you so much guys see you in the next video